It's like so bitchin' because everybody is so nice. Those are the words of Frank Zappa's daughter, Moon Zappa, from his 1982 song, Valley Girl. And it's often attributed to the start of the Valley Girl dialect, or sociolect, a dialect based on your class, your ethnicity, or your age. If you're like me and grew up on 80s sitcoms, or your mom did, then it's very likely you still use words like um and you know all the time. And it probably has less to do with Frank Zappa and more to do with that 80s media culture you grew up in. Or maybe even clueless, as Cher Horowitz would say. What about the strain on our resources? Well, it's like when I had this garden party for my father's birthday, right? I put RSVP because it was like a sit down dinner, but some people came that like did not RSVP and I was bugging. I had to like haul ass to the kitchen and redistribute the food and change all the place settings. And so if the government could just get to the kitchen, rearrange some things, we could certainly party with the Haitians. And I put RSVP because it was a sit down dinner, but some people that like did not RSVP, I was like totally bugging. That was Shuri Horowitz from Clueless. This valley girl sociolect is also known as upspeak, up talk, high inflection, or in the most formal of terms, high rising terminal. This means at the end of your sentence, not only are you using those verbal filler words, but you're raising your pitch like you do when you're asking a question. And you're not asking a question, so that raise in pitch makes you seem clueless. When you're watching your video rehearsal, make note of up, up speak at the end of sentences and make arrow cues to remind yourself to keep your pitch down. The other major characteristic that I touched on in the Valley Girl Sociolect is using specific filler words like, um, you know, gag me with a spoon. You can learn how to conquer these and other fears and verbal fillers by subscribing to my channel.